Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to learn how to configure the Exchange Server Virtual Directory with the help of the PowerShell script. As you know that there are multiple virtual directories in the Exchange Server which needs to be configured and this script will help you to configure the virtual directories of multiple Exchange Server in one go. If you see the scenario, I have an active directory with the IP address 192.168.2.10 and the mailbox server by the name of ex01 and the IP is 2.72 I have another exchange server that is ex02 and the IP is 2.78 and the domain name here I am using is testingo.in and the namespace I want to use is mail.testingo.in right now if we see the virtual directory I have a ECP here and in the exchange 01 you can see the internal URL is default ex01.testingo.n.ecp and, and same is with the ex02 as well it is a by default we want to use here mail.testingo.in for internal and external both so let's jump to the server and get started so right now I am on a server and if we see the exchange admin center you can see the ecp default website for ex01 it is a default and same way with the ex02 it is default and if we see the OI as well it is set to the default and we want to set it to as a mail.testingo.in here is the script it will collect the all exchange server that get exchange server and the fqdn name will be set as mail.testingo.in and it will configure the active sync ecp mappy oab OWA web service and client access service and it will do it for the multiple server in the exchange organization and at the last it will display all the set URLs so let's copy this script and let's try to run this script let me increase the size of this here I need to put the enter and now you can see EWS has set the mail.testingo.in for the ex01 and ex02 auto discover URI has been set to the mail.testingo.in and this is ECP for internal and external URL and same for the another server and OA for both the server MAPI, ActiveSync and offline address book so if we go and check it let me double click on this you can see our ECP has been configured and for EX02 the same it has been configured if I check the OWA it has been configured on exchange 02 OWA has been configured same way if we check with the MAPI or EWS our every virtual directory has been configured successfully I hope the video was useful and informative and if you want to use this script and you need this script you can email me and I will send it to on your email. Thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video.